Hello, welcome. So, first of all, Angel is on the bottom of the deck. I really do love this card. It says spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So, maybe you need to know that you are protected. You have spirits guiding you. Spirit is guiding you. Your spirit guides, your angels, they're guiding you. So, this could have to do with an older woman. You're either the older woman energy or you are protected from this person with this person. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift and a younger man. Okay. There's a younger man or a younger masculine energy involved. They may be like same sex oriented. They're going to be giving you a gift or you will be receiving or giving them a gift. Okay. So we have peace and harmony. We have deep personal strength and peace. So these are the first two cards out. Peace. You're moving into a peaceful period. Things are going to be a lot more peaceful. Before I started this reading, I kept hearing Karina, 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 or Karine, Karin, something. Um, sounds like Karen too, doesn't it? But that's what I was getting. I was like, Kareen. So I don't know if that's like uh, an area, a street, a person's name. Something like that is very significant here. But it is time to go out and have fun. We have a wish will not be granted. So let's see here. Who are we reading fools? Gemini. Funny, I was just thinking of you. I was so thinking of you. So you have Mars and the sixth house. So, Gemini, let's see with you and a person and the dynamic in between. It looks like something may not be going your way. Ah, someone's fixated. Someone's obsessed, first of all. Something may not be going your way, Gemini. But it looks like instead of keep trying to do it, it's time to have fun so that you can have some peace. You will have peace. You're going to make peace with something not going your way. This could also be someone in your environment who's upset that they don't get to have fun. <laughs> so someone's upset not having fun. All right. Fairy of the Divine Hand. Intoxication, distorted view, and in overindulgence is here. Kind of creepy energy. Yeah, it could be that someone's look looking for you, scoping out the scene. Who is this? One card on this person. What's going on there? It is the power of three. Three witchy sisters. We're here. This is the protection. So you're being protected? There's someone obsessive. If it's you, sometimes it's hard to know if you're doing that, isn't it? There's a person who's a little obsessive in the energy, and I don't think they realize they're doing it. Where's Gemini here? ghost people yeah okay this is this is you for sure now i know this is you 100 percent. okay gemini um it looks like you're holding on to your solitude here especially from a specific person in the coming period because it is a time for spirit pink lotus fairy that's why you have this peace and harmony maybe you're into like nature or this is you incorporating more like natural foods into your diet you could also be meditating doing yoga okay it's happening in the spirit all of that is helping you a lot tenfold right now this is the energy that's like the self-assuredness is coming from just your peace you you're self-assured you're also being guided and protected so i feel like you're in a really good like at least spiritual energy it's very nice actually it's like reiterating a hundred times. So we also have this that came out for you. Faceless ghost and haunted girl ghost people. This is a number seven. So this is also a number seven. So four and three. So you're turning something around. I feel like someone is trying to make you fit some type of a narrative. Like 
trying to make you feel like you were who you used to be or trying to fit you in that same box of someone that you used to be. And it's kind of bothering you. It could be that people are just projecting onto you as well. This could be a projection. There's also some past energies that have or actually occurred that you are integrating and incorporating into your spirit. It's like you're making peace with something. Maybe it's something that has not been granted. But this is like being haunted by your past, basically. Well, I also feel like this is people trying to make you be a certain way that you're not. Sometimes you grow, like just in general, a person will grow. And then you start realizing people are not comfortable with your new experience or who you are. And they want to keep you the way that you used to be because it makes them feel more comfortable because that's how they know you. And then it also doesn't make them feel insecure about needing to change, you see? So yeah, that's the energy today. It looks like you can feel maybe lonely at times, strangely lonely, holding on way too tight, or someone is. It's time to be brave. Yeah, it is. So what goes around comes around. Whatever this person is doing... Or whoever is fixated here when they did the power of three, like they could have people watching you. They could have people, yeah, gossiping. It's it's um something like this. They're gonna get it ten. They're gonna get it back to them. So your energy, be mindful what you're focusing on because you're gonna get it tenfold. And I see that yours is like peace and spirituality and you know being happy and working on that. That's going to come back to you tenfold. This person, whoever is doing this, holding on tight and trying to force a situation and involving others and things like that, that's going to come back tenfold as well. So show me what's going on between Gemini and a person. Party. So that's the people. This could be a work party or someone's um, being invited to a work celebration or a gathering here. What's going on with um, Gemini and this person? Addiction. Yeah, this is the... Someone is stuck on you and it's not, not in a healthy way. I feel like you're trying to make peace with this. Maybe you feel watched a lot. What, oh, ghosted. Uh, disappear, silence, ignored, and rejected. This person is fixated on you. Okay. Well. We have twice like devil card energy. So just saying. We have. Aquarius third house and the north node. Okay, Gemini, I feel like if you have been spending time with people lately, maybe you are like accepting invitations or hanging out with friends and family or whatever you're doing could be dating. It looks like you're going to stop doing that for a period of time because you're going to realize that there's something that you need to focus on and it's very internal and it's very healing. You're just going to feel better like that. It's not like you're going to force yourself. It's like, mm, I'm just really not feeling it these days. Something is happening that's causing you to be more in a protective energy. So it's probably your angels putting you in this energy. Your spirit guides, spirit is putting you in like a solo energy. So you could pay attention to like your inner world and tap in deeply. Strength, peace that assure success. Yeah, peace and harmony. Because it's like too many people around, too many people projecting, wanting, or somehow throwing you off your path. Like you're going to feel this way. I feel like someone's like looking through your windows too. This is what this looks like right here. It's like, yeah, this could be metaphorical. It's like someone's looking through to see truth. Like they want truth. Eyes are the windows to the soul. So you won't give them eye contact anymore. They feel like you're not seeing them. You won't look at them. You won't even look at them. So they're looking harder. I feel like someone knows 
your vehicle as well. Show me Gemini in the energy, please. Where's Gemini? Strength card. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So... One more here. Okay, two more, I guess. Eight of Swords, that's you. You are more at ease and at peace without people bothering you in the coming period. Although I do see a couple people trying to get your attention. You may have a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You also may have like a Pisces trying to come in, Gemini. But it looks more so that you're in control of how much you want to do and say and what you're involved in, what you're not. You're also being invited to go somewhere, like I said. Do you want to go? I don't think you do, but you could if you wanted to. It could be like a short distance travel, a little bit away from you, something like this. Not too far, maybe. But you look like you're kind of resisting that. It's not, yeah, the Ten of Swords. So who is in Gemini's reading today? The Nine of Wands is a Sagittarius. Who's in Gemini's reading today? Aries. So the King of Swords, yeah. So more Pisces and Aquarius energy. Hmm. What are they doing? What's this person doing? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal too. There you are. Oh gosh. This person wants you to notice them. I don't see you interacting with this person. You're not interacting. There's not like full blown communication. It's more so that this is someone who wants you to feel not wanted, but they want you at the same time. What is this? Yeah. Okay. Hold on a minute. How does Gemini see this person as the five of wands? You got the devil, the tower. You see them? What? Why does Gemini see them like this? The wheel. So this has been going on for some time. That this person has been trying to be involved in your energy for a while. You're not happy with like a come and go dynamic or like you're trying not to get too excited about a situation anymore. As a matter of fact, I feel like you're kind of growing bored, disinterested a little bit. Because someone, maybe you feel like they're playing games. Let me grab my tea really quick. Like you feel like they're playing games. So here they are trying to change your dynamic. But it's like they, they're, they're doing it on purpose, like pulling back for you to notice. Or they're holding back so you notice. All the while they're spying and they're watching. Oh my gosh, this tea is amazing. Very good. Thank you, me. Thank you, Earth. Okay, so... Um, yeah, here's the deal too, because I feel like you know that this person wants to maintain access in some way. This is why you're holding back. You're, you're good where you are. You're safe where you are. You feel protected where you are. Someone keeps trying to throw you off, Gemini. I don't know. Let me see how this person sees you. It's like um, hmm, the two of cups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they feel like you're selfish. So was this your reading recently too? I think it was your reading. I did two of your readings the other day. This, this may be a similar energy. People are seeing you as very selfish and self-serving or like you're not sharing any of your energy, your love and your support, maybe money for some of you. However, 
you're doing what's right for you. So I don't know what the heck you have around you. Like it feels more so that people are in a space of need. You could actually be dealing with someone who maybe they do imbibe. Maybe they do drink. Maybe they do drugs. Okay, sure. It could be something like that. But there's some exploitation occurring when it comes to you, which is why you're moving into the strength card, like I can't be doing all this. This is what your energy is talking about. And you know that you need to like quiet yourself. Someone is tempting you or the situation is tempting you to turn into a past version of yourself that does not resonate with you anymore. Maybe you're like, oh, when I was younger, I would have done that. Or maybe if this was the last year, even like I would have entertained this, but I'm kind of over it. Yeah, because you need I see you wow there's some choices that you have to make that people are gonna crap on you for and you know this and this is you showing strength and resolve it's like you're not allowing people to toy with your energy like people are toying with you is what you're telling me I see that even if someone's trying to invite you here time to go out and have fun which is not granted someone is not invited or someone is not showing up to the party like there is some type of gathering or a get together maybe it's just you and this person however it looks like multiple people this is not going to pan out the way that somebody expected you're not showing up or like you're not lightening up you're not you're not into that right now you're into spirit you're into healing you're into modalities okay maybe you're listening to like really healing music even like tones and frequencies there's something clearing out here that this person is um what's what's going on with this energy right here really quick so the world card yeah that's what i'm saying someone feels like they're getting put out they don't have something like okay oh how am i gonna fix this what was me yeah someone's having a difficult experience in life it feels materially how does this person see gemini they see you with the judgment, right? Because the fool and the, the thing is, I feel like you're very sweet and kind and loving to this individual. They know this. You're coming out as like fire and like scorpionic energy. So it's like you are, you're done with some form of games here. Yeah, look at you. You're enforcing something. What are you enforcing? Success. It's like you have to figure out success. This is what I see you saying. Maybe you're trying to teach one of your children how to be independent or like you're trusting the process okay or maybe this is you and you that you're doing with yourself like learning how to be independent and maybe not helping when it's causing someone to not be able to help themselves basically i remember saying this to you too like stopping some form of enabling behavior basically all right there could be something being enabled especially if someone like uses uses sure uses i was gonna say money but mm -hmm. someone needs to fix it why do they see gemini with judgment it's like you finally woke up yeah you finally woke up you made some decision that you know i'm here if you need me but i'm not here for these other things type thing it feels like you are releasing you know this person you're trying to release this person and not give in to them and you're trying to maintain your strength here. But this is someone holding on very tightly to your aura. Way too tight even. So you're trying to loosen the reins in a relationship to allow someone space to grow is what it looks like. So how does, how does Gemini feel about this individual? So you feel the back of the page. So that's the thing. No growth, no abundance, somebody not really doing well in that way or you feel this way just in general it feels like a cyclical person or energy they keep doing things saying things you are starting to feel lack of passion like i said something is just not quite right to you but what is this yeah maybe you feel like this is okay look at that king and queen of wands you could feel like a couple is turning their back on someone or this is you and your person turning your back on someone or something. Two fire sign energies here. You're ending it here or this ends here. I can't do this. Yeah. You have someone backing you up. Like there's a person really rooting for you. They feel like you're doing the right thing is what I'm seeing. Or you're assuring yourself in this way. But why does Gemini feel back of the page of wands? Because you feel the back. Yeah. See what I'm saying? 
Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. You feel someone is going to fail or they did. You don't feel very confident in being away from this person. Like, I don't feel like that's in your nature. Huh. How does this person feel about Gemini? Oh, yeah, they feel like you're... That's what I'm saying, the Three of Swords, yeah. They feel like you're doing this on purpose. They're very tempted to come toward you. This person feels like, it's almost like, okay, I have a bad situation. You're just kicking me when I'm down. Like somehow, you know. Like you're, they feel like you're doing this on purpose, but you are though. But it doesn't mean how they're, they're conflating it. Like they're making it look like you're trying to harm them or hurt them, but you're not. Yeah, you're just wanting someone to get their life in order or stop playing games or stop doing something. This person feels like you keep hurting them by your behaviors because you're holding back. You're hurting them on purpose. Why does this person feel the back of the king of swords? Yeah, they feel like you're not, you don't want them and you're doing this on purpose because you're playing games. You just want to be in control. You just want to be petty. You just, you know, Gemini, A, B, C, and D, this is why you're doing this. It's not why. That's not why. It feels more so like tough love or you don't want to enable someone to behave a certain way with you anymore. I'm seeing that. The party's over, okay? This is not a come and go as you please and then exploit me or whatever this is. I feel like you didn't realize this for a long time or you kept doing this, Gemini. You kept, you kept doing that and now you have to stop. But this was supposed to stop a long time ago. You were supposed to stop someone's access to you a long time ago. So they feel locked out. What does Gemini want with this person? This could be an Aries. What does Gemini want with this person? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like... It's like you don't know now, but I hope you will understand. It's that. You want them to know, but they don't know. This does feel like... um. Gosh, what kind of relation is this between Gemini and this person? Well, it's not anymore. It doesn't look like you're relating to them anymore in the coming period. Gemini and this person, what kind of relation is this? Okay, yeah, yeah, see the Ten of Cups? It's like, were you family or supposed to be? It feels like that. Okay. What does this person want with Gemini? Yeah, the seven of pentacles. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Okay. Person doesn't know what to do. I do see them. They're doing something, though. They're going to be figuring out. But they want you to feel like it was their choice to not talk to you, by the way. To make a point. Because they don't like that you have the control here. They don't like that you... Are maintaining your own energy they want to be they want to feel like they're the ones who said no to you or that they're the ones who cut you out or they chose that but they I don't think that they did it was inevitable is what I'm hearing oh yeah the king of not the king the emperor backside so I feel like this is someone scrambling to figure something out. Gemini. I do. So what was the issue here? What was the conflict or the drama? What was the source of this, please? It's a source. It's you, Gemini. The Six of Swords. 
because you know how to fix something for someone. Maybe you told them something needed to stop, like you need to stop doing this or you need to go somewhere else or you talked to them up, you told them already a million times in a row what you want, what you don't want, what works, what doesn't work, but it doesn't, it's not, it's not, okay, nobody's going to listen or something. What is this? What is the source here? Yeah. Some form of like an ultimatum may have come in here. Because you got to that point. I feel like you told this person, it's like warning, 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 million times in a row, but they didn't take heed. Nine of Swords, it's you. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of sad about this. That's why you're maintaining peace and deep personal strength. It's like you have to be assured through the situation. You have to be self-assured here because it's easy to feel bad or it's easy to feel guilty for choices that you're making. But I see that it's, it's almost like you have no choice at this point. So it's not really, it's reached that point that it's has to change, has to stop. Like someone needs to stop a long time ago, but you feel bad. I see you feel bad. Okay, I do. What's coming in for Gemini? What's next for Gemini, please? Back of the devil. Yeah, the three of swords. So you could potentially, you could go back into this energy if you wanted to. You really could. Um, I feel like you're you're being warned not to, or you've you've already felt this warning. It's like I, we're just gonna get stuck in the same codependent cycle. Something feels like a person is very dependent upon you or fixated and stuck on you. Very stuck, very clinged, very like cling on, like cannot let go. That's what this is. So I see that you have a choice to return or not. You do. So the back of the, so I feel like you feel very mean. Do you feel mean? You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Capricorn or a Libra in the meantime. Or a Pisces, yeah, Cancer, heavy, and Capricorn. You could return if you wanted to, and you know that. That's why I feel like you're trying to allow time and space. It's like, let me, you know, hope that you get it together from over here and not have to do it for you. So we're, are you a fixer, Gemini? Do you fix things for people? Or you you liked at one point to be needed or wanted or something. So I feel like you're, yeah, that's why you're ending some cycle here because it's a period of growth for you. This is also helping you grow, not just this person. It's like you're learning not to do for, for someone when they ha they don't need training wheels anymore or something like this. Like this could be an adult. I think it is. It's an adult. Cause it all, cause the reading sounds like it's like a child, but I don't think that it's a child. It just, the energy is coming off that way. Maybe you've realized that you've become someone's parent and yes means yes. And no means no. And this is a no, like something feels very like this. So tell me what this person is fixated on, by the way, with this addiction and fairy of the, yeah, intoxication, the sort of you overindulgence, toxic attachment, drugs. It's you. I think it's with you. Eight of Pentacles. What are what's being what's the addiction here in this reading? Oh, yeah, manipulation. Um, you care for me, so that's why it works. Yeah, codependent. It feels very like a dependency. Yes. You guys are addicted to one another or someone is. Very addicted on the way that something feels maybe safe. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, Gemini. Sounds kind of like your last reading a little bit, doesn't it? 
Advice, guidance, words of wisdom for Gemini regarding this or otherwise spirit. What you got? Liberation. Yeah, you need to liberate. You're, you're doing it. I don't need to tell you that. So the Divine Mother, I'm telling you, unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. So you're practicing non-judgmental <laughs> non non-judgmentalism. You're practicing not judging, or you will be. It's like, oh gosh, Gemini, I feel like part of this, part of this, Gemini, is you entertaining this. Part of this is you being involved in this. Okay? You know that too. Maybe you, you, you didn't do something sooner. Or maybe you need to forgive yourself for not knowing or for not... Maybe, yeah, maybe you didn't have the information. Maybe you didn't know what you were doing or what this person was doing. Something like that. Okay, so unconditional love is here. I do feel like you do exhibit this. You are exhibiting unconditional love. You're practicing non-judgment. People go through different things at different times in life. Sometimes people do things out of order, okay? Yeah, maybe they <laughs> jump around. They, they do something early too soon, and then they do something late, way late. And it feels like this person may be this kind of energy, that they've done life out of order, at least according to society, okay? You know, you know how that is. That's what this seems. Like, I feel like you're trying not to judge them because people go through things. People hit tough times, hard times, but you kind of are showing the love. Like, I still love you. I still care for you. Or I have to practice love by not putting my finger in that mess. Like, something about you maintaining distance and space, okay? Because, yeah, you can't mother everybody. You may be a very caring and loving individual, Gemini. Maybe you have a soft spot. Maybe you have, like, some cancer in your energy, okay? <laughs> you probably do. All right. So the essence of all Buddhas, or, like, Pisces. Yeah, I can see Pisces right here, too. You may also have Sagittarius, but anyway, the essence of all Buddhas, I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. It's moment by moment right now with you. That's why you have to be like self-assured. You are being protected and guided or whoever you're worried about is also protected and guided. Let me see. Advice, guidance, words of wisdom for this person. Yeah, you, if this is romantic Gemini, it's not... It works for some people, but mostly it's not very attractive to be in a dynamic with someone that you feel you have to mother, right? Most of the time, mothering a partner is not romantic. <laughs> it kills the romance, okay? You don't believe me? Look it up. No, I know, I know you probably know that. They're just... You know, I say that because people leave stupid comments. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. You know, you are leaving dumb comments. Okay. So who <laughs> advice guidance for this person, please. Where's the wisdom for the, what does this person need to know? Peace. They don't know what to do. That's why. Okay. So pretty much they're stuck. You guys are stuck together. This has potential to sink your ship. Gemini. What are you going to do? Tell this person to get their own freaking ship. That's what they're doing. So um, I said this something similar to Pisces, maybe like a month ago or three weeks ago or something. I don't know. So Lady of the Lotus Born, embodiment is a deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. This person is lost. They're confused. They feel kind of like they need to find their way. They will find their way, Gemini. They will. I think you know this. It's just like, you know some pressure here with you pressure to step in and fix it or heal someone or sometimes that can indicate to uh not a healthy bond like you know that's why this is coming up i'm just saying okay so mystic of peace i am peace when my mind is clear the way is clear that's why they need to clear their head Interesting. This is your energy. So something that you've said to them is really ringing true for them. 
And if they don't see that now, they will be seeing this. This person needs to clear their mind. And I feel like the things that you've said to them or you've done is going to really sit with them and make sense. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much, Gemini. Feel free to check other placements. I'll see you next time.